Step back to 1948 with the classic film A Foreign Affair. No need for fancy words, here it's a tale set in post-war Berlin directed by the legendary Billy Wilder. The story unfolds as an American congresswoman, played by the incomparable Jean Arthur, tries to investigate the morals of her fellow countrymen stationed in the war-torn city. Hold on, because this film is a roller coaster of emotions. There's laughter, shock, and a touch of sadness awaiting you. Wondering about a particular scene or moment that lingers in your mind, or perhaps you have a favorite classic Hollywood actor from the cast? We're curious. And here's the hook. There are plenty of funny, shocking, and sad facts waiting to be unveiled, so don't hit pause just yet. Now, we want to hear from you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic? Drop your stories and memories in the comments below. We can't wait to read them. Keep the popcorn popping, the laughter rolling, and the stories flowing. Step back into the world of 1948 with a cinematic gem, A Foreign Affair, directed by the legendary Billy Wilder. This classic features the incomparable Jean Arthur as an American congresswoman navigating the complexities of post-war Berlin. The narrative unfolds like a roller coaster, offering a mix of laughter, shock, and a touch of sadness. As we explore how the film was received during its time, it's clear that it made waves in the cinematic world. Audiences were captivated by the exploration of morality amidst the ruins of war. The film's ability to blend humor, drama, and a hint of melancholy left a lasting impression on viewers. The movie had a significant impact on popular culture. A foreign affair became a talking point, sparking conversations about the post-war era and the intricacies of human behavior in challenging circumstances. The performances, especially by Jean Arthur, became iconic, with her character resonating in the hearts of many. The movie's influence extended beyond the silver screen, it paved the way for spin-offs, merchandise, and adaptations. Fans found themselves immersed in a world that went beyond the movie theater. The characters and themes took on a life of their own, weaving into the fabric of popular culture. Spin-offs and adaptations, inspired by the nuances of the film, brought fresh perspectives to the narrative. The movie's impact persisted through these creative endeavors, showcasing the lasting effect of Wilder's directorial skills and the stellar performances by the cast. Merchandise associated with a foreign affair became coveted memorabilia for fans, serving as tangible reminders of the emotional journey the film offered. The resonance of the characters and storyline manifested in various forms, from posters to collectibles, allowing audiences to carry a piece of the cinematic experience into their everyday lives. In conclusion, A Foreign Affair, with its captivating storytelling and memorable performances, not only left a lasting impression on the cinematic world of 1948, but also shaped the cultural conversation of its time. The movie's influence, evident in its reception and subsequent adaptations, secures its place in the history of cinema. Transporting us back to the post-war era of 1948, A Foreign Affair, crafted by director Billy Wilder and starring Gene Arthur, not only stirred emotions, but also made a lasting impression on the cinematic world of its time. As audiences were captivated by the roller coaster narrative, the film's significance reached beyond the silver screen. The hallmark of any cinematic masterpiece is its influence, and a foreign affair sparked discussions about the complexities of morality in the aftermath of war. The mix of humor, drama, and a touch of sadness resonated with viewers, making the movie a cultural touchstone. This impact stretched beyond the immediate cinematic experience affecting popular culture itself. The powerful performances, especially by Gene Arthur, became iconic, leaving a lasting memory with audiences. As conversations about the film spread, other shows and movies from the same era explored similar themes inspired by a foreign affair. The examination of human behavior in challenging situations became a recurring theme in subsequent works. Furthermore, the film's influence extended beyond just thematic echoes. Spin-offs, inspired by the nuanced storytelling, emerged, breathing new life into the narrative and providing alternative perspectives on the post-war era. These adaptations showcased the enduring influence of Wilder's directing skills and the timeless charm of the characters. Merchandise associated with the film became sought-after memorabilia, serving as tangible reminders of the emotional journey offered by the movie. Fans eagerly embraced the chance to carry a piece of the cinematic experience into their everyday lives, solidifying the movie's place in the cultural zeitgeist. 
In conclusion, A Foreign Affair, with its engaging storytelling and unforgettable performances, not only shaped the cinematic conversation of 1948, but also paved the way for a new wave of exploration in subsequent media. Its influence, felt in thematic explorations and creative adaptations, cements its place in the annals of cinematic history. After finishing the filming, Marlene Dietrich quickly went to New York to support her pregnant daughter, Maria Riva, who was about to have Dietrich's first grandchild. Originally called Operation Candy Bar and Foreign Affairs during the making, the movie eventually went with the first title, chosen by director Billy Wilder and producer Charles Brackett. This behind-the-scenes choice gives us a glimpse into the creative decisions that shaped the movie's identity. On November 4, 1951, a 60-minute radio version of the film was broadcasted through Theatre Guild on the air. Marlene Dietrich played her role again in this radio adaptation, giving audiences another way to experience the story. These behind-the-scenes details add depth to the story, showing the personal commitments of the lead actress and the discussions that went into naming the film. The subsequent radio version also shows how the movie's appeal goes beyond the screen, finding a new audience on the radio. The off-screen events related to a foreign affair, from Dietrich's family priorities to the naming considerations, highlight the various aspects of filmmaking, revealing the complexities that contribute to the final form of a project. Marlene Dietrich, a key figure in the 1948 film, played roles beyond the movie. After finishing the filming, she quickly went to New York to support her pregnant daughter, Maria Riva, who was expecting Dietrich's first grandchild. This off-screen commitment shows the personal priorities of the lead actress, revealing a side that goes beyond the glamour of Hollywood. Interestingly, while making the film, it went through a naming change. Originally called Operation Candy Bar and Foreign Affairs, it eventually settled on the first title chosen by director Billy Wilder and producer Charles Brackett. This behind-the-scenes decision sheds light on the discussions that shaped the movie's identity. A notable aspect of the film's production was the innovative filming technique introduced by Paramount for the nightclub scenes. They used a silent method, using flashing lights on set to indicate rhythm. This allowed with recording dialogue without music interference, showing the industry's constant search for efficiency and creativity. Additionally, on November 4, 1951, a 60-minute radio adaptation of the film featuring Marlene Dietrich reprising her role was aired through Theatre Guild on the air. This alternative version gave audiences another way to experience the story, showing the lasting appeal of the narrative beyond the visual medium. These behind-the-scenes details, from family priorities to naming considerations and radio adaptations, provide a better understanding of the complexities in filmmaking. They add layers to the story that go far beyond the movie screen, 